guys. So the next thing I want to show you guys is actually a Torrid haul. Um, everything is from Torrid besides this. This is actually a dress from Hot Topic I got in a size four. Why does she tell us the sizes? I think that she shows some of her insecurities when she does stuff like this. And when you show insecurities on things, that's what people target to attack, especially in the internet and on YouTube where people are just anonymous because they're an they're anonymous, man. So there's no, there's no consequences for this and they just want to get a rise out of people and they know that attacking insecurities will get a rise. That's why I don't tell anybody that I'm really self-conscious about my mustache. I just thought this was really unique. I don't really wear things with butterflies, but I think it's the color of this dress. It's okay. I think flowers would be better than butterflies though. Personal preference. I'm not a big butterfly fan. Uh, that's kind of how I feel about butterflies. They're not very cute. They look gross. They have cool wings, I guess. Just don't land on me, please. Don't touch me, bugs. Ugh. Bees? Don't you hate when you're like outside and you got like a soda or something and a bee is just flying around you and you're like, dude. You don't want to swat it to like make it all mad so that it lands on you and stings or something. I don't think I've ever been stung by a bee. What if I got stung by a bee and I just had an allergic reaction? It's not like I'd know what to do. It's never happened. One time when I was young though, I think one flew in my shirt and I went like this and it fell down. So <laughs> thanks for listening to my story about bees. That is just super freaking beautiful. The stuff that I got is from Torrid. I got this really pretty purple dress that has hearts all over it. it you know, maybe it's just the, the tiled look of all of this stuff that I don't like. I feel like solid colors are a little cooler. We're just talking about fashion and style now. I think solid colors, otherwise like, not so much the tiles, but maybe designs that like weave, like flowers that weave into each other are kind of cool. But just tiled hearts, it's kind of like a kid thing to wear, isn't it? It's kind of like a little girl thing to wear. Like a little girl would have suspenders on with like a design like that on it, or it'd be on like her backpack or something. That's what I'm, that's what it looks like to me. Let me know what you guys think. I'm, I probably don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to style and fashion. I mean, look at what I'm wearing. The old sweater with the old gray shirt. Hmm, the glasses. What do I know? I'm just a man. Just a boy, really. Um, oh, I'm pretty excited to wear that. Then I got in a size four, a t-shirt dress. This looks super cozy. I like kind of like tie-dye distressed look. It is a tie-dye look. Why are you wearing kids clothing, like kids designs? That's interesting, huh? I remember having a tie-dye shirt. I think we went on a field trip in second grade and we got to make them ourselves. Mine looked like crap, you guys. It looked, it sucked. I was mad. I was actually really jealous. I remember everyone else had cool little rainbow ones and I remember thinking, well, what if I just do a little more of this color? And I think mine was pretty much just like red tie-dye. Like this shirt. No, nah, it was on a white t-shirt, of course. But that's a kid thing, is the moral of the story. Had to get it because I love some t-shirts and I love a dress. So when you put two and two together, I'm here for it. I People do change. In fact, they even change their clothing into tie-dye shirts. Shirt dresses. What is a shirt dress? That's probably a guy question to ask, huh? What is a shirt dress? I, I don't know. Just a shirt. I'm like picturing a long shirt is all. <laughs> I guess all I'm picturing. Which is kind of weird. What separates that from just a dress then? Who knows? Maybe a dress has like more of a, like a cut. It has like a, a type of design cut. I feel so dumb even talking about this. I have no idea what I'm talking about. So out of my depth talking about fashion and style. So take everything I'm saying here with a grain of salt. She might be like a genius. She might be like a supermodel the way she's dressing and I have no idea. But that was years ago and people change. I love it now. So next thing is a size six. It is a sleep gown. Doesn't mean that's the only thing you can wear it for because I will be wearing this as regular clothes. I If if someone I knew came up with, to me and they were like, hey, do you like this, this shirt or whatever? And it had that design on it. I'd be like, hmm, yeah, it's nice. But in my head, that's not what I'd be thinking. That's what my, my mouth would say. That's not what my heart would say. My heart would say, why are you dressing like a five-year-old? 
Yeah. It's actually like crisscross. So this is the back of it. I think that's like really cute. I that was my best whistle that I could do, but you know what I was going for. Like that cat calling one. When you see a pretty lady walk by and you're on the construction site after a long day. <laughs> As if. I don't know. Not for me. To each their own. Oh, the rest of the things I got from Torrid are underwear. So I have been told that I am gross for sharing underwear on my YouTube channel. I don't understand how everyone wears underwear. So let's just dive into it. Yeah, everyone takes poos too, Amberlynn. That doesn't mean you should take a video of your poo and then put it up on the internet for everyone to see, right? What a silly argument. Everyone wears underwear. <laughs> okay, great. Great point. So I love the quality of Torrid underwear. I usually get a size six, but fives do fit as well. So it honestly just depends. <laughs> depends. That's like a brand of underwear. So first pair gray with some colorful artwork skulls stars hearts um lightning i just thought it was super cute why is all your stuff though in like a kid design you know what adults do they get underpants that have no design and just a solid color you know what little boys do they get little underwears that uh have power rangers on them and i'm guessing girls do something similar i don't know barbies or something but why? That's kind of goofy, isn't it? Am I way wrong here, you guys? Am I like super off base or or what? Or am I dead on? I don't know, dude. This is like, I would never enforce this rule on the world, but personally, I think that once you're an adult, maybe like designs on your underwear, unless they're specifically for like lingerie purposes or something, probably aren't necessary probably don't need to have on, have them on there hmm? skulls and little little lightning bolts too jeez grow up the next thing i want to talk about is a show that i want to recommend i feel like if you have netflix you have heard of it um but i want to recommend it to you it's Oh, a show you want to recommend. Good, because this whole time you said this was going to be kind of like a podcast format, and I have yet to see anything that separates this from your other videos, at least the ones that I've seen. All you do in your videos are try... There's like three archetypal types of Amberlynn videos. Show things that I've bought or received as a gift. Show things that I... Or do a, do a try on or a haul. And watch what I eat or what I cook. Those three things. And that's all this video has been. That's all this video has been. But now we're gonna watch where she's gonna tell us about the show that's really good. Don't know how you have time to watch a show through all your reading, but we'll see. Is a show that I wanna recommend. I feel like if you have Netflix, you have heard of it, um, but I want to recommend it to you. It's called Firefly Lane. <laughs> This just really goes to show how like inside bubbles people are. I have Netflix. I definitely have Netflix. I have never heard of this show. Not saying it's not like a big show or anything, but if you have Netflix, you've probably heard of it, but blah, blah, blah. I don't watch your dumb shows, okay, Amberlynn? I watch my own shows that I like to watch, all right? So, <laughs> don't assume that of me, please, lady. Katherine Heigl stars in it. And I love Katherine Heigl, so that is what tempted me to watch it because when I heard about it, I was just like, sounds okay. Let me get this straight. Let's follow this through. So you heard of the show, and then someone was like, oh, Katherine Heigl's in it. And that's the only piece of information you have. And you go, sounds okay. Uh, who that? I've heard of that name, Katherine Heigl, but who is Katherine Heigl, guys? For real. She's probably like a big deal and you guys are probably all like, Ew, yes, you're far. It's obvious that Katherine Heigl is like the greatest actor of all time. That's my response to that. But then when I started watching it, I couldn't stop. I binged it in like two days. I enjoyed every single minute of it. It is so good. It is about these two best friends, Katherine Heigl being one of them. She's like a really big Katherine Heigl fan, I think you guys. 
she's like a really she really likes Katherine Heigl. She every time she gets a chance, she's like, yeah, I, I just saw this show. It has Katherine Heigl in it. It's about two friends. One of them, Katherine Heigl. So Katherine Heigl walks into the cafeteria, and that's where she, Katherine Heigl, grabs her her food from the cafeteria lady, who's also played by Katherine Heigl. It's a great show, you guys. Let's get to some substance of the show, please, since you're going to tell us about this show before you start just telling us it's great and that Katherine Heigl's in it. That's all we know about the show so far from, from Yamberlin, is that one, it's great, two, it has Katherine Heigl in it. You gotta prove that the show's great, though, and Katherine Heigl does not a great show make. Doesn't a bad show make, but you need a little more. It shows their life as teenagers, as, like, young 20-year-olds, and then as, like, they're like 40 something now it shows their whole life and the dramas in their life and it's just so good you guys i completely recommend it okay so it's like a slice of life kind of a thing they're just like following some some women through their life um through the different stages of their life to kind of show like like they're taking a slice out of a life and they're showing it on tv okay i could see how that could be a good show not for me but i could see how that could be good I'd like to know, like, a little bit more about what makes it good, though. Like, is the writing really good? Is the acting really good? I'm sure it's all fine, but I'd like to know some specifics. Like, say, I don't know, say, like, the way that they set up the, the themes are phenomenal. Or else don't get into the movie talking about business, because there are people that just do it better. Firefly Lane, huh? There are things that happened that shook me, that made me cry that made me laugh i am so uh i feel like i'm part of their life and i really hope there is a second season that comes out because the ending shook me to the core shook you to the core huh see the problem though is that doesn't mean anything because i talk to people about tv shows and they think some pretty dumb shows are great and shocking and there are shows that I think are great and shocking that I've told about other people and they don't like them. So if you could give me like a piece of something from the show instead of just telling me it's great, that'd be cool. Why is it great? So speaking of books, I guess I could have showed you guys this earlier. Speaking of books, we weren't even talking about books, were we? But I am using this jar. For your books? Kind of a small jar for books. More of a pamphlet sized jar. To choose the next books that I will be reading. On the inside, we have tons of little tickets that I wrote all my books on. And I just pick one and then I choose the next book. I got a theory. This seems like something that you did that like you thought was really cool and it is a cool idea in theory, but it, I feel like you sat down and you wrote down the name of all these books on a t on these tickets and then you put them in the jar and tomorrow that jar will be you will never be used. Like this is the last time that that jar will be used is my theory. That's my prediction as to what is going to happen going forward here. I think that she likes the, just like the planning, she likes the idea of writing down the names of books and putting them on a ticket and putting them in there. She likes the idea of picking a book by ticket more than she likes the idea of reading the book. So I think that's what we're experiencing here. That's a good idea though. Maybe I should do it with like TV shows or something. Something that I could do. I read books sometimes, but that'd be too hard to do with books. Because what if you draw a bad book? Well, then what? I have to spend a ton of time reading a bad book? No thanks. Alyssa Cole. And how's it? We're good. We're fine. <laughs> that was awesome. Can we know, like, it's, okay, if this Amberlynn is going to be podcast format or whatever you called it, that's fine. But can you give us a little bit of substance, please? Like... Can you actually then spend some time actually talking about these topics instead of just broaching them and moving on? I w can you tell me what is in the book so I can understand what makes Amberlynn read Tick? Because isn't that what makes podcasts fun? Is when people actually get to talk things out and then you really get to understand who they are as people and you're kind of robbing us of that opportunity and then calling it a podcast. It's not, it's not a podcast, by the way. What a joke. I am also reading House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danieleski. 
can't really pronounce his name. And this book is so long and so big. Speaking of things that are long and big, this video has gone on a little too long. Bye to you as well. I appreciate you taking the time to show us a little bit of your life, Amberlynn. It's always nice to get a little glimpse, a little slice of life into your life. You know, kind of like that Firefly Lane show that everybody's heard of on Netflix. It's supposed to be phenomenal. Did you hear? Katherine Heigl's in it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, of course, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I always appreciate that. Check out my Twitter, at Yestervark1. I had to put a 1 on there, because somebody already has the Yestervark name, so now I gotta use, I gotta put a 1 at the end, like an animal. Check out my Twi uh, my Instagram as well, I believe it's under the same name. And I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of your day. You have a good one, thank you for watching. You have a good one.